So we have Sterling HTP 10 mil rope base tied to this tree going up and over a limb and back down to single rope where we have connected the new Z2R. Uh, I bought this from a website called How Not To. Uh, they just came out. So uh, it's a drill powered ascender, uh, non life support. So show you the setup I got here. Um, they say that you need a backup system for this and you see in the other videos that he has a secondary rope set up that he's tending another support system on as he goes up. So I thought that <clears throat> if something was to go wrong, it would chew up the rope within this device. So I thought if I was above the device with my life support, secondary, probably be okay. So what I did was I had a rope runner that I put above it and uh, just still playing around. It's, it's only rated for 11 and this rope is 10. So I just cinched this top grab all the way down and it seems to hold pretty well. I took the system off and just put my weight on this system and it's enough to hold me and I can still get down. So, so like I said, I'm still playing around with it. So what I did was I connected, I took where you would normally connect your carabiner to and I shoved the uh, the rope logic fix in there like that and I think it seems to be okay. There's no sharp edges for it to fray on and it's nice and stiff so it keeps this tethered, it keeps this tended as you're, as you're advancing. So, um, so yeah. Um, you can see online more info on how this works and it's midline attachable. This take the carabiner off and this plate opens up and you can chase the rope through. And uh, these are uh, basically like a figure eight. You, once you're up, you can lock the rope off with this. And then uh, here's your release lever. You knock this loose and you can actually rappel down. So. I've done it. I've done it with the rope wrench on the, on top as well. So you just hold this open, and then you have to, with two hands, hold that open, and then descend with this. So, yeah. So I have this tether down to this to this carabiner, and then because there's no swiveling on here, I put a I put a swivel, and it just keeps everything uh, when it's on your saddle. It just keeps everything straight and in line so this will hook to your bridge on your saddle and then um, for the drill all i did was just i got this right-handed drill it's a little it's a little more ergonomic having it here rather than a normal drill you know you're, you're holding you're holding way out further so this just is nice and in line uh harbor great so I just have it tethered off because this will slip out and plummet so here's the setup and then uh show you it in action so here's the setup um that i have and i think if you go this route, you definitely need an adjustable bridge because if you had a long bridge, you would not be able to reach your rope wrench up here. So definitely uh, have a bridge that you can suck up nice and tight and get everything close to you. So here it is. You know, you got the right-handed drill that keeps it nice and close to you rather than your normal, your normal drill is kind of out here and a little awkward. So yeah. stop and then you pull your drill out so you don't fall it's on your lanyard and then if you want to come down just make sure your rope runner set put your rope through your figure of eight release it and set into the rope runner and then once you've got your tension on your rope runner you can descend down and then when you want to 
head back up, put your drill in. And you go, <laughs> effortlessly, like an old man. You can stop, doesn't move, doesn't sit. This is not worried about getting chewed in the rope.